Hi guys, I'm Spencer. Welcome to Sphinx Reads. Today is going to be kind of a different video. It's going to be super chill, as you can tell with my setup. Also, I have a fan on. Please forgive that. It's going to be super chill because today I'll be actually reviewing the Storybrooke Bookstore, which is an online store bookstore um, based in the Philippines, but they actually ship worldwide. But I can't imagine wanting to avail of their services if you have better access to books but still I'll be doing a review of their store giving you a timeline of kind of what my experience was with them by the way this is not a sponsored video or anything like that but I just want to share my experience in case you are wanting to purchase books that are more difficult to find so first off last year on October 22nd to November 7th they opened their eighth batch for deliveries on October 28th I messaged them and inquired on the availability of books two and three of the mastermind series which is kind of hard to locate here in the Philippines and they had been sent an order form to them now as you can see from the order form there is an LBC pickup branch that you can opt to use because one of their modes of delivery delivery is LBC but you don't have to use that necessarily <clears throat> I'll talk more about which mode of delivery I chose but they also give you a list of modes of payment that you could use which includes Metro Bank uh, Philippine Business Bank and Gcash I opted for the Gcash option so you have to pay a 50% down payment um, right up front like until the day after the deadline of the ordering days. So the payment deadline was after November 7th, November 8th. So I placed my order on October 28th and paid on October 30th. So way before the deadline of the both the, the orders and the payment. On November 8th, they had updated on their page that the orders were already placed. The way they split their orders is there's an air cargo and a sea cargo. They didn't really announce which orders are under air and which are under sea, but I inquired which cargo mine was in and they were really quick to answer that it was going to be the sea cargo. From there they give you weekly updates and they're really in depth. They provide an ETA once there is one available. So from our timeline November 8th is when the orders were placed but it actually wasn't until November 30th that we had an actual ETA for the batch that my books were in and they gave the ETA January 20th of this year so that's 2021. But come January 18th, they actually changed the ETA to January 28th, so it was a delayed a little bit. And then later on, they updated us that actually on January 18th, it had just arrived in Manila. And they are based in Lawag, by the way. And then it was offloaded on January 24th. Now, I'm going to unbox the books that I got because um, it just arrived today as I talk about the last bit. So we were expecting our books to arrive by January 28th, right? But we didn't get an update immediately. Um, I messaged them and they were quick to respond and they provided the necessary update. And that was February 4th, so way after, not, not way after, but a few days after the expected um, arrival date. On February 4th, they updated us and said that there's kind of a delay uh, with the career. The, person or the service that was going to deliver from Manila to Lawag. They said that within the week or the next, our books were going to arrive. Oh my goodness, I'm, <laughs> I'm so happy. Now on February 10th, they announced that the books had already arrived and they were going to contact everyone to settle the remaining balance. You also have the option of doing COD via Shopee. And they said that they were going to start shipping by February 12th after sanitizing all of the books as well. They immediately uploaded mine to Shopee on February 10th that the next day they were actually able to ship my order. Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous and so happy as well. And on the Shopee account, they sent this picture from which I discovered that book two looked taller than book three. And I am partially to blame for that, I think, because I only said paperback. I didn't say... Um, which edition I didn't give them an ISBN. I just said paperback It didn't say whether it was like a regular paperback or a mass market So I'm partially to blame for that because I wanted it to match at least the height or the edition That my first book was in which is a Bowser and Bray and only the only book three was Bowser and Bray The book two was under Harper Classics, I think so I was a little bit disappointed, but not by their service necessarily It was more my fault because I didn't give a specific edition that I wanted. I just said paperback. This is actually also a little bit cheaper than if you order from Fully Booked. Also, I think it's a little bit faster because in Fully Booked, when you order something that they have to do a special order for, it usually takes three to four months. In my case, well, I guess it also is about three to four months 
total waiting time, which is actually not bad for a rare book. I also believe that some of their books they get from book outlets, so there may be remainder copies. But okay, finally I unboxed these books and I haven't looked at them yet, so we'll see. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy you guys. I'm sorry, the lighting keeps fading in and out. I, like I said, I'm not, this is like a really chill video. Remove the plastic. They wrap it pretty well. You guys, you have no idea how excited I am. Okay, so let's see what these are like. Okay, sorry, the lighting. Okay, feeling the covers, they're very similar. They have sort of a matte feel, which is really nice. I like matte covers. Okay, so there's a little bit of damage there, but it's not too bad. I, I'm not a very... I used to be really picky about the quality of my books, but now I'm just like, eh, if you, I can read it, it's fine. So there's a little bit of a dent, but that might be just the career. Also, there's only, um, sorry, there's only one layer of bubble wrap, which for me, it's, I think I prefer at least two layers, but again, I'm not really picky. And so obviously, again, you can see book two is bigger than book three, so they're not necessarily matching. But other than that, okay, book two is also a remainder copy. Um, book three is not. Matching this up with my first book, let's see. Okay, uh, books one and two are the same height. So there you go. And book three is a little smaller. Um, also, I think book three is a mass market. You can't really see the color. I should have done this in color, but whatever. Um, because the pages are also a little bit gray, which I think is common in mass paperbacks. This one is more cream, like very similar to my first book, although the first book has already yellowed pages. Overall, I think Storybrooke Bookstore service is really good. I recommend you check them out. This is, again, this is not a sponsored unboxing or anything like that. They respond really quickly. Like, I remember one time, I think I messaged them at like 12.30 in the evening and they were able to respond. And again, another time I messaged them at about 7 in the morning and they responded pretty quickly. They also got me a nice cute bookmark, so that's nice. I guess one thing that you have to be careful with or you need to specify so what edition you want um, also if you prefer a brand new copy or a remainder copy because I'm not gonna lie I didn't want this to be a remainder copy I'm pretty particular with markings on my books but whatever it's fine thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me even for a little bit um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please forget to subscribe so you can do it later and have a great day